What's up guys, 405080 here, and I actually have a new product to show you today, kind of a different video, but yeah. Alrighty, so, we got the new power distribution board. This is a circuit board that also comes with a 24 volt power supply. So you will get this power supply as well as this little circuit board that allows you to do lots of cool things. So the main thing is as you can see, we have connections for a fire alarm and connections for a fire alarm pole station, as well as connections for like, if you wanted to use a 12 volt power supply, anything like that, you could plug it in there. Um, but yeah, it's a pretty cool board. It has kind of a weird cutout at the top, but that will be shown in the future for what that's for. As of now, I'm just using them for the coder board function. So yeah, this is very easy to wire as we have a barrel jack on it which means that the power supply it comes with, you can just plug it in right like that and you're good to go. And then you just have to wire your alarm and your pull station. So yeah, to demonstrate that, I'm actually gonna wire up a setup for you. So yeah, alrighty, so I have the PCB. I'm actually gonna put this on 0.5 maybe. There we go, that looks better. So we have the PCB. And then I'm going to be wiring this Fenwall pole station to it, as well as this Wheelock chime strobe. I don't have a jumper on the strobe though, so I'm just wiring the chime. But yes, yeah, so we're going to take our power board and we're going to start with the pole station. So what you're going to want to do is make sure your terminals are loosened. You can use a Phillips or a flathead. These are very nice terminals. I actually made custom footprints and stuff to use these because they're very high quality. So yeah, then you're just going to take your pull station wires and plug them in. And the reason there's no positive and negative is it's actually not required for pull stations to have a positive and negative on setups like this. So it doesn't matter what direction you wire it as long as it's a conventional pole station and not addressable. Let's see, that's the thing is addressable pole stations have a module on the back that makes them work with more complicated channels. And they don't work very well standalone for reasons which I will not get super into. So yeah, and then with the alarm side of the module, Depending on if I've already used the module you're getting, it's kind of it can be hard to loosen the terminals the first time. But once they come undone, they're easy unless you over tighten them. But yeah, so with the fire alarm connection, you do need to worry about positive and negative. And for example, this alarm shows on the circuit board. I don't know if you can see it, it has positive and negative on there. I guess we'll just have to trust that it's positive and negative because it doesn't show up well on camera. But gray, the gray wire that I added is the positive and the white wire is the negative. So if we plug the negative and the positive into their respective terminals, we now have that connected like so. And now the power connection is actually very nice and easy because of this plug, so we just plug it in and we're all good to go. So now I'm gonna go somewhere in my house with an outlet and demonstrate it. All right, hopefully this doesn't cast too many shadows, but we're gonna just take our power supply, plug it into a wall, let me grab my key. And yeah, so once we have it plugged into the wall, we're ready to go. So we can go ahead and pull the pull station. And as you can see, the chime is sounding. 
And then when we reset the pole station, it stops. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoy. And yeah, I'll link in the description to my eBay page where you can find this module. And depending on the time you're watching this video, there's a lot of other things that could be on my eBay. Um, I usually try to keep a decent stock of different parts that you can buy for doing fire alarm stuff like this. So yeah, hope you guys enjoyed the video. And yeah, thanks for